So this is the sleeve. I decided to do a double sleeve. So this is one part of the sleeve. This is the other part. And it's just gonna go in there together like so. The top of the shirt. As you can see where your arm goes. And then this is where I tie. And the good thing about this pattern is when I flip it, I have the same side and then I have the back of the pattern as well. And I'll have the pattern linked below for you guys to purchase if you're interested in this pattern, but you can also make this yourself if you know how. Okay, so I'm gonna cut this out on my material and I'll get back with you guys. Okay, so here's the bell bottom sleeve, here's the top of the sleeve. Here's the top of the shirt and the back is back there. Remember the shirt ties, so this is the tie for it. So here I'm just cutting out my sleeve pieces for my bell bottom sleeve. That's the top. That is the back. This is the front of the top. And I also made sure to add um, the sleeves as well. That's the bottom half of the sleeve. So on to the top part. Now... This is the top that we'll be tying. So you see this little piece here? This is so that when we tie it, we, doesn't, we don't have any raw edges. So I decided to cut a little extra piece to this pattern. That way when we flip it inside out, um, it looks really clean. And there's no like rough edges. And I'll show you guys exactly what I mean by that. So here I'm just pinning the back piece to my shirt. Once it's sewn, it opens up. And as you can see, this is the back. So here I'm just showing you guys how I sewed those two pieces together for the straps. Uh, so this is what it looks like after it's sewn. And just to remind you, it's so that you don't see raw edges when you're tying it. So I did that for both sides. So now that you have this pin, this pin, this pin and this pin and as you can see your ties and all of that good stuff so you're just gonna sew here and here i have the small short bell bottom and i just sew down the side i have the big bell bottom sleeve the lower half and i just sew down the side and then i have the top of my sleeve right here and i sew down the side so what I'm gonna do is, my first step would be to add this to the sleeve, to the big bell bottom. But you wanna make sure that you're putting it on the outside of the bell bottom, right? So this is my right side. It has the glittery side, you know, the pretty side. So I'm gonna open up my bell bottom sleeve and I'm gonna turn that to the right side as well, right? And then I'm going to slide my slide it on top of my big bell bottom. And I'm gonna match up the seams. So this is matching here. And I'm just gonna sew around the circle. Okay. Okay. So when you're sewing a circle, it's really easy. It might be intimidating at the beginning, but all you do is just make sure that you're holding on to your top and your bottom up your needle put it under your presser foot push it down make sure that you don't have the bottom of the the circle underneath the needle as well and you just want to make sure you only have the, the layers you're trying to sew together underneath the needle so just go ahead and start sewing make sure you hold your material the right way and i want to do zigzag Remember to do a, a zigzag stitch so that it stretches because it's going to be somewhere that has a lot of movement. So you want to always use zigzag. This is sewn onto here. It's a full circle. The top half of my sleeve, I'm going to flip it to the wrong side. Then I'm going to go inside of my sleeve and grab the bottom of the sleeve. Right? and I'm gonna pull it through. Make sure you have it very um, straight so that you can just sew on top of the stitch that you already have for your belt. So, I got that pinned away. Again, I'm just gonna check it cause I'm anal like that. So 
you got your raw side here and you got your right side in here. So we're gonna flip it and see what it look like. Cause we're trying to make it look like the other sleeve. And voila, when you flip it, you can see that this is no raw, no raw edges. Here, I'm just pulling the bell sleeve back through the top of the sleeve and I'm gonna sew the circle again. And you're basically going to do the same thing I taught you guys earlier as far as sewing the circle. You can see, this is all sewn, all the layers are sewn together. Remember, I have put my right side of the bell bottom inside of the wrong side of the sleeve, the right side of the sleeve. And now, you're just going to pull up. See the seams are hidden? You see? Really cute. Okay. Now we're going to sew this to our top that we already made. Okay. So, we're going to take our sleeve, right? The sleeve that we just sewn. Okay. And we're going to make sure that it's right side out. So, that means the pretty material is out. No busted seam showing. And then we're going to take that. And we're going to basically put it in the inside of here. But we're going to make sure that this matches up. Just like that. So, open up your sleeve, open up your shirt, I'm sorry, and open up your sleeve, okay, and then you're going to put it in here, and you're going to match up the seams, you see how this is a seam, and this is a seam, so we're going to match that up, okay, so now that you've sewn that right, then you're going to flip it, and you see how you can't see the seam, let's pull, pull it out. Oh my god, it's so gorgeous. This is too cute. Taking this pattern. As you can see, these are the pants. And I kind of want the pants to be like more narrow. Because I want it fitted. But I'm keeping the crouch and butt area the same. And then I'm just folding the bottom of the pants to make it like more skinny. And narrow. Move this up, and then I have this from the the, the sleeve that we created earlier. So I'm just adding that to the bottom of it. Now these are like knickerbockers, or like halfway, like to my knee. So that's why I'm able to add this to the bottom of it. So here I'm just tracing the outline of my pants, and I'm leaving about an inch seam allowance. And I just wanted to show you guys how I did this with also adding the bell shape at the bottom. This isn't connected, but I wanted to show you guys how I've created the bell shape. So I'm just um, also doing the same thing, sketching around it, leaving an inch seam allowance. And then I'm just going to go ahead and cut that out. So here I'm just showing you guys all of the pattern pieces that I have cut out so far. So these are my bottoms. And these little things here, I wanted to add to the bottoms, the little gachos, or I can't remember what you call them, but they're little triangle shapes that go at the bottom of the pants. But so here I'm pinning the straps that I'll be using, and I'm also showing you guys the triangles that I'm putting on the side of the bottom of the bell bottom, the little cutouts I showed you. So how I cut them, you have to fold them and pin them in. And then I'm just pinning that to the other side of the pants. So I'm going to show you guys what I mean. Once I sew them together, you guys will see how this makes a little triangle at the bottom of the pants. <laughs> I think I'm gonna end up cutting it because once I added in these slits here, um, I know you guys seen that on camera where I had these little pieces added in because I wanted to do more of the bell shape and I wish I would have did that when I was cutting out the initial one. But I kind of like this touch because it goes with the shirt. So these are kind of long, so I think I'm gonna end up cutting them just to fit me. These are the um, suspender straps that I'm going to attach to the top. You never want to sew on the outside, right? So where someone can see. I'm going to sew, if you see here, I have an extra piece of material. That's where I'm going to sew these suspenders to. 
Okay, so for putting in the straps, what you wanna do is, I already have a chalk mark here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure. So from the center, the center seam to here is about five and a half. So I'm gonna do the same thing over here. I have both marks here and here, and I have the same thing on the other side of the pants. See here and here. And then I'm just gonna take my straps, right? What, I, what you wanna pay attention to, this is what you wanna sew it to. You're gonna sew it to this flap, right? Okay, so I have the line right here. And the good thing is, it's falling like in, in the middle of the um, the strap. So I wanna hide that line. So I want that to be against my body. So <laughs> that means where the waistband is, right? You're gonna put that facing the wrong side too. So, so go ahead and pin that to the flap and the wrong side. And this is what it's gonna look like um, on the outside once you pin that. So I'm just showing you guys what it looks like pinned. I just wanna check. So here, I'm showing you guys how I sew the um, strap to the flap. And I'm doing like this rectangle shape stitch so that it's secured. And basically I'm just showing you guys how I'm pivoting on my machine and sewing it down. So you just wanna make sure that you're sewing this to where it's secure. So that's why you see me rotating so many times and creating this square-like stitch. And I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I mean by square stitch. You see here how it's a square? That's what you want to make sure that the suspenders don't pop up. You don't wanna just do a straight stitch because it won't stay. So you need something to secure it. And that's what it looks like on the outside. It's sewn to the flap so you can't see it from the outside. And yeah, you guys, you're ready. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know what you guys want to see. I look forward to hearing from you.